there, I'm Megan for Payscale, the modern compensation company. Today's question reads, Dear Comp Pro, we've always based our increases on the rise of cost of living in our area. Is that the right thing to do? Signed, Cola Curious. Dear Curious, great question. Cost of living is a lagging indicator, something that tells us how we should have paid people. Cost of labor is a more leading indicator, something that tells us how we should expect to pay people. The best recent example is in North Dakota, where at one time the oil and gas boom really drove up the cost of labor pretty dramatically and quickly. There were some reports of basic labor jobs going for $25 to $30 an hour. It took a while for the real estate market and cost of goods to wise up and realize they could charge more. Now it costs a bit more to live in those areas, cost of living, but companies who waited to pay according to cost of living were missing the mark by a few years. Essentially, cost of living is a useless measure when it comes to pricing talent. If you pay fairly and competitively according to cost of labor in the market, cost of living increases become irrelevant, thus freeing up the budget for meaningful performance-based bonuses. Until next time, I'm Megan for Payscale, comp for people who don't hate themselves.